Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to use the LaGuardia and Wagner Archives website to do research from home when you can't come in person. I'll show you some tips and tricks, but keep in mind that as a general rule, research takes time and patience, and often searching many different terms. To get to our homepage, you might want to start on our LaGuardia Library page. Simply scroll to the bottom, and you'll find the link for LaGuardia and Wagner Archives. When you click this, it will take you to our homepage. You can also copy the URL here, laguardiawagnerarchive.lagcc.cuny.edu. You have a number of options when you land on our site. You can do a search across all of our collections at once, or you can go into specific collections and search there. I'll walk you through both of these. If you are researching a topic such as gun control, and you type it into this search engine. And you just press search. Let's see what happens. You get over 2,000 results, which is probably more than you can read to do your paper. But also you'll see that you're getting results where there is nothing to click. The first line of the results is always the collection that the document comes from. But when you just do this search, you get a list of everything we hold, both in person and electronically, so you may not be able to view everything electronically. So let's refine our search. If you click Documents Available in Digital Format, your search results will be limited to only the documents that you can see online. We've now limited our total records found to 559 which is significantly less, but probably still too many. What you see here is a document from the Council of the City of New York, the legislative body of the city. The title is Asbestos Control Program. You can click any of these icons, which usually look like PDF or text icons, and it will show you the entire document. These have been scanned from microfilm and made into PDFs, so they will always be multiple pages. For instance, this document is 41 pages long. It says asbestos control program, but we searched for gun control. That's because when we searched the two words, it gave us a result of every document that has the word gun and every document that has the word control in it. This won't necessarily be helpful for your result, your research. So let's refine our search again. As you can see, before I click away, all of these will have icons for you to click so you can see these electronic documents, because we've limited our search to only electronic documents. In order to get just documents that have this phrase with two words in a row, we're going to add quotation marks around it. Make sure documents available in digital format is still clicked, and then search again. Now our results are of 19 documents, and they all relate to gun control. You can see that they come from the Council of the City of New York and the Ed Koch Collection. And when you click the PDF icon, you can download, save, print, and even search the document for keywords. Always be sure to write down all of the information on the front page for your citation. If we were to need to look up this document in person, we would need all of this information. So take all, as a good rule of thumb, during research, make sure to take extensive notes. This document alone is 130 pages, but you'll see it's a collection of individual memos, speeches, laws, and letters and correspondence. That's how you search across all collections. A collection is a smaller category within the archives. So the archives has documents related to New York City history. The collections will be divided by mayors, where you can see what years they were mayor next to the picture, so you don't have to guess. And once you click on a specific mayor, you can search just within the collection. A good tip is if you're researching something that was a big event during a mayor's time in office, you can look at collection highlights where we've put together documents related to big events for you. That saves you from having to search 
all of the different possible keywords, for instance, for this Crown Heights unrest in August 1991. Different people referred to it as riots, protests, unrest, uprisings, and instead of searching all of those words, you can click the collection highlights and find these documents collected for you. Here's a statement by Mayor David Dinkins on the situation in Crown Heights in August of 1991. You'll also find newspaper articles, this was a very long speech, and internal memos. Simply press go back or go back to our collections. The New York City Housing Authority is in charge of public housing. This is one of our most popular collections because there are a tremendous number of photographs to see. If you click on this and you click photos, you can search the names of different public housing projects and see photos online from the time before, during, and after construction of the development. For instance, if you press Queensbridge and search, you'll get photos both from contemporary New York City and from the past, including events, interiors, and construction photos. It takes a second to load. From this you can see the land, the cars, the buildings in Long Island City sitting behind Queensbridge. You can click through the images and see the, the buildings going up. We also have curricula for students and teachers. You can download the PDFs here if you have any family members or teachers in the 4th, 7th, 8th, 11th grade, or you're just curious to know about New York City history. Don't be dissuaded by the fact that it might say it's for 4th graders. It is also written for teachers to help explain the background, and this can be a useful research even for experts. The curricula contain primary source documents, including photographs, maps, and trustworthy essays about the topic. Again, please be patient when these documents load. There are introductory essays, as well as individual lessons so you can skip around. This document alone is 116 pages, so you may want to choose certain units for yourself. The LaGuardia and Wagner Archives also puts out an annual history calendar that uses both our collections and the collections of other institutions and people around the city. You can view all of these historical calendars on our website and again, download them, save them, um, and use them for research. This is one of our more recent calendars for the current year 2020 about LGBTQ performing arts in New York City. There are milestones of historical events relating to the topic at the beginning of every calendar. Each calendar month then has its own theme and you can see beautiful illustrations, as well as more important dates that occur throughout the year. We also have primary sources that are not documents, photographs, or other written sources. These are audiovisual materials, a sample of which you can find on our YouTube site. Simply click on the icon at the corner of your screen, or you can find our channel at LAG Archivist. Once you're here, you'll see a wide variety of videos about New York City history. Some are mini documentaries about projects we've done with students at LaGuardia Community College, and others are interviews with prominent New Yorkers such as Ed Koch, and old campaign videos like this one from 1933 of Fiorello LaGuardia. If you go to playlists, you'll find videos separated by topic, and you can explore what's most interesting to you. We also are present 
on different social media channels and appreciate feedback and hearing from all of you. Please reach out if you have questions or comments to share, and we look forward to helping you more with your research needs. Bye-bye.